If you're looking to install emergency lighting in a drop ceiling, in this video, we'll show you how to do it. These new LED systems are a lot easier to work with than the older style. You can hook them up to your 110 volts or your 270 in more commercial applications. Today, we're gonna be installing it in a drop ceiling. You're gonna need some longer 832 screws to get everything to fit. These lights are designed to fit onto these standard square junction boxes. These emergency lights are designed when the power goes out, the lights come on. You can see it's all charged up and completely disconnected from any power. You can adjust these lights in any direction and we want this light to go right here, flush with the ceiling. So we're gonna add some 12-2 wire to extend down into this unit. Then we'll mount everything flush to the ceiling. When you connect your wires, you wanna make sure you twist them up really good. If you only use just the wire nut, one of these wires could back out and not give you a good connection. It may seem like it's connected, but it won't work. Then you can spin your wire nuts on tight. Then you'll know you have a good connection. Now, because we have a metal box, these copper safety ground wires need to be contacting the box. You can use an 832 screw to make it real nice and tight to the box. Now, if a hot wire comes undone inside the box, if that hot wire touches the box, it's gonna snap the breaker. Without this safety ground wire touching the box, it would not trip the breaker. Without this attached to the box, if a live wire touched this box, the entire box would be live and somebody could touch it. And it wouldn't snap the breaker. If it's a plastic box, you don't have to worry about this. To help ensure these live wires never come apart and hit the inside of the box, use electrical tape. Tightly wrap it on the wire nut and the wire. So now we have all the wires tightly bound. Now we'll cut a piece of ceiling tile to fit. Here's the old piece, so we'll just trace it. Once we get it to the right size, we'll put our center mark where the appliance is gonna go. So centered right above the box, we'll put a mark and then cut a little piece out. So this hole is centered right over the box. Now we need to find some 632 screws that are gonna be a little longer. That way we can clamp through the ceiling tile. You can use your junction box lid to get the screws in the right location. You can also get these junction box lids with a hole right in the middle. That way when you close up the junction box, there'll be a hole to put the wires through. In this picture, I don't have the metal plate on. You'd wanna add that first before putting it together. So you'd have your metal box, you'd have your cover plate, your ceiling tile, and then your plastic mount. You'll need to knock some holes out of this before you attach it to the ceiling tile. All of the holes are aligned up so we can put up our ceiling tile and screw it into place. The two wires hanging down will attach to the light. Make sure they're twisted on nice and tight and put some electrical tape on them. Now you can snap the light into place and you can test to make sure everything's working. With the power on, hit the green light and the lights come on. Of course, you know the job isn't done until you get everything all cleaned up. So if you're looking to flush mount these emergency lights to a drop ceiling, hopefully some of these tips will help you out. Well, I really appreciate your time and thanks for watching.